We definitely still have some more stuff to explore there. That's for sure. It's like, I picked up that artifact, but I didn't actually get to do anything with it. My theory is, so far, what you need to do is get an artifact and find one of those statues. Use the artifact to absorb the fire from the statue. Oh, wrong way. That's my guess so far. Anyway. There we go. So far, this this DLC is living up to my expectations. I I think that's the best the best outcome I have so far because I was I was actually worried that I wouldn't like this. But as it turns out, it's pretty decent. Okay, so this is pointing towards the sun. It's funny, because you can't see any planets or anything, but you can see the sun station from here. Okay. It's way dark over here. I'm not entirely sure what angle I was supposed to be looking at from that di Oof. Oof, man, that doesn't sound good. Okay, let's just get inside before we smash up our ship anymore. Oh, no. I was pressing the wrong button for my thruster. Good enough for me. Okay, yeah, so this is the sunless side. Oh, and there's a- oh, where's the door? Wait! I thought this room had another door here. Unless it's just functionally invisible from this side. Yeah, there totally is a door right there. Okay. There's not a huge benefit to coming in over to this side. It's just, you know when you first visit this area, it's the side you're more, more likely to visit, like to go through. It's a much more dramatic entrance. Overall, it's probably not as useful for exploration purposes. Ooh. Let's go. Are we stuck on this rock now? We might be stuck on this rock. Actually, you know what? That's not what I thought. That's not how I planned that. But it does give me an idea for how I'm going to approach that in a moment. Hmm. 
almost seems like the observatory is closer to the launch tower than I remember it. you just it kind of just gives you a chance to do the alignment thing without having to wait for autopilot to do it for you Ooh. all right so ah here we are oh hey i didn't notice that you you can actually target the entrances that's how you do like land in here like you're not a psycho, I guess. Let's look at the ship log. We haven't looked at it in a little while. Secret well. The reel I found in the slide burning room shows a container marked with a glowing symbol being handed to a shadowy figure. The lights are extinguished and the figure carries the container down into a dark well. slide reel that shows the stranger's inhabitants analyzing an anomaly that closely resembles the Nomai symbol of the eye of the universe. Several slides have been burned and cannot be viewed. Slide burning room. A room full of burned slide reels piled next to a strange device. I found a hidden slide reel that shows a container marked with a glowing symbol being handed to shadowy figure. I'm gonna guess that you're not able to take a burnt slide, like take a burned slide. Take like an existing slide reel that has pieces missing to repair it there. I'm kind of wondering, but I feel like that's probably not what they're going for with that. Reservoir. Enormous reservoir with wooden piers and buildings on both shores. I found a room with a burned control interface and a projection that seems to indicate a broken connection between the stranger and another craft. And the other the other craft is what I'm thinking is their way of pushing the stranger around. Metal structure, sealed vault, cliffside building. I saw a building marked with a unique symbol recessed into one of the canyon walls, but the bridge that used to lead to it has rotted, rotted away. Wait, this is new. Found several ornate metal artifacts inside a workshop surrounded by ghost matter. Why did the ghost matter pick that spot in particular? A tower that sits atop one of the cinder aisles. The upper floors can only be reached from a second entrance at the back of the tower. I found a slide reel that shows the stranger's inhabitants opening a secret passage in a round room filled with lanterns and murals. The inhabitants are shown filing into three of these rooms throughout the stranger. Can I try to open that myself? Like what? What would happen if I tried to do that myself? I went, to, I went to my pilot seat as if I was about to take off from Timber Hearth when I'm already here. Alright, so we are aiming for that rock outcropping there. Or even this spot here, that would probably lead us to the same spot. Without having to rely on the water movement. If I can boost that pie, I should be able to. Ooh, not quite. Okay, let's get back to the surface, if we can make it.
No, no. Let's try one more time. No, that didn't count. Okay, one step at a time. Cool. All right, we did that. This looks like an area. So I'm guessing your ultimate goal for this area is to extinguish all three flames at the same time within the same loop. And then something will happen, I guess? Possible. Problem is, I have no idea where any of the, the torches are yet. I only know of... Well, I know of that there should be one, like, close to where I am now. Within sight of the tower. Close... to where I am. Though it might be might actually be over there instead. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. Yeah, that's what we'll have to try to do then. Alright, so... I'm gonna try to boost up, because gravity seems to be less severe as you get to the center. Ooh, oh, oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Alright, that's fine. You know what? That's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dang it. Okay, that's anti progress, but. Let's go check out that tower, shall we? No, that's not. Oh, there it is. This is the... This is the slide burning room. Yeah, so... avoid that from happening, but I think it just happens no matter what, so it's not really trapping you in, it's just confounding you. It confounded me pretty good when that happened to me the first time. So what were to happen if I inserted the slide reel? Already holding lantern. Maybe something else would drop down after the second object that dropped down. As for this machine, I don't think it will do anything for me. It's just there. I mean, there's other slides that I could use potentially. I mean, I'm gonna test my theory that I don't totally believe in, just because. Let's 
to. The problem is, I don't know if I need to activate this or if it just works on its own. It does not appear to be working on its own. I'll try that other slide reel, and if that doesn't does if that doesn't activate it in any way, then I'm just gonna assume that's just there for you know just to be there, just to explain what how the how the reels work and how they came to be. I'm not expecting this to work. But I feel like I should try it anyway, just to just to rule it out as a possibility. And no, okay. Well, that's that. Check out the tower now. Let's see if there is a way to open up that secret entrance. Because basically, what that what that what that slide seemed to indicate was that. They just removed a lantern from that painting, and it became a doorway. I have to... What's this one here? Is there any other places I want to go? No, I think it's just the one. This is just an alternate entrance. Oh, wait, no, it's not. This is something different. Okay. That's the reason why I have not found any other bodies. <sighs> I don't think I will roast a marshmallow here. They all have little lights. Wow, this okay, that guy has jewelry. Okay, the odd one has jewelry. That guy has a bracelet. That one had a bracelet on the other hand. So what does this mean? Do I need to bring one of the artifacts here? Did they kill themselves here? Or did they just, like... I feel like I could replicate this and then just end up killing myself the same way. And nothing would actually happen other than getting a weird death. <laughs> I kind of want to try it out, though. So, we know about this one. There are other lantern shrines. There's another lantern shrine at the lower... I probably don't have enough time to get there before the dam bursts. It looks like it's about ready to go now. I grabbed one of those artifacts. I bet that's what's needed to do something. It, it, the artifact needs to suck up that green fire for it to do whatever it's supposed to do. looks like it's on a bit of a tilt. And then it starts tilting the other way. Let's go down this way. So these cables don't hurt you if they're not wet. I'm thinking that's the case. 
How do you get up there? Oh hey, Steve S90, thank you for the follow. I appreciate I hope I hope you're enjoying the show so far. It's pretty cool. If you have not played Outer Wilds, I will probably go into spoilers. I mean, I'm kind of already going to spoiler territory right now. With this, this, this is the new DLC, but... Okay, I'm gonna try to get over there real quick. I don't know if I can make that, though. Do I need to go... No, that, that can't be right. Even if it is right, I don't have enough time for that. Nope, that's not gonna work. Ah. Okay. Let's go down here. Let's, whoa. I wasn't expecting that bridge to be there. But I guess I would have gone somewhere. That was the bridge that was missing from where I was trying to jump just now, probably. So we're back at this thing here. Oh wait, there's a second path over here. That's what I need to do. Okay, so at... At the Cinder Islands, I need to bear to the right. And keep bearing to the right. I didn't actually realize there were three paths. I thought it was just two coming from there. There's two paths over here. So maybe I just kind of assumed it was like that the whole way through. I don't think we're gonna learn anything new here. I just wanna take another look. Now that we've learned a few other things, so, from what we've seen from the reels, they, the owl people, lit some torches, and for each torch they lit, these three chains appeared. And we know that this is some sort of vault that was sealing something away. We don't know what, though. This is probably the end game right here. Like, whatever you're supposed to be here to do... I mean, forget about supposed to. Whatever the, your goal, the, the mystery that you're trying to solve is, that is the final answer. Or at least one of the final answers. I feel like John Halo. Hey. Oh, oh, crap. I did not take the water current seriously enough. Alright. Well. I think with that, we're gonna take a quick... Uh, take a little break. We're gonna take... We're gonna say ten minutes. I know that's kind of a long break for a stream, but I need to stretch my legs and maybe get a decaf coffee or something like that. <gasps> Make sure the cats have enough attention. So, yeah, it's 10.26 now. I'm going to let this game sit for a bit, and we will take a 10-minute break. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a 10-minute break. I'm not going to I'm not gonna cut off the stream right now. Um, but I'll be back in about 10 minutes. So I'll leave it on the BR, BR back screen. Alright, and we're back. So, I got my decaf coffee. And I'm ready to die in space. And I had to lower the bitrate a little bit because there was a little bit of connection issue there. So hopefully that helps.
Ding, ding, ding. So, let's take a look. See what we've, see what we've explored so far. Ah, oh, the music goes away if you get too close to your shit. Did we learn anything new that time? Oh wow, I didn't notice that this is on the map now. Reservoir. Okay, we didn't actually learn anything new there. Alright, that's okay. Uh, actually, before we go anywhere, let us just... Meditate. As I left it idling, might as well start with a fresh loop. <laughs> it's a short replay. He's just staring at the campfire with Slate. Slate must get a lot of screen time. Overall, out of all the Harthians, Slate probably gets the most screen time. Because, I mean, he's right there. Right when you wake up. Am I kind of, kind of getting used to just slingshotting through the trees there? And then just kind of correcting a little bit. Oh, yeah, like that. And then autopiloting the rest of the way. The stranger. Ooh. Lip. Leap. There we go. I kind of wish I had more of a reason to fly my ship around, but obviously you can't take your ship in here. Okay, so what we're gonna do... I'm gonna grab one of those artifacts. Ooh, uh. Pick up artifact. Let's not accidentally die of ghost matter on our way out of this area. There we go. And we want to go into that house. Oh. Aha! So let's see what happens. And this house, this is a different house too, so there might be something else to discover here. I don't know why that extra shadow is there, but... Yeah, these guys are pretty creepy when they're dead. I mean, I suppose it applies to most. A marshmallow here. Seems kind of inappropriate given the circumstances, but it's something you can do. How much can I get this cooked? Can I burn it this way? Is this overcooked now? Yeah, it's overcooked. 
All right, well, I have this artifact. Oh, this one has all of the seats taken. What happens if I were to go back to the tower where there's one seat that's empty? Okay, we want to go... Is there a raft over here? No, no raft over here. We'll walk. We'll take the long way. Can I get up here? No. Not very easily, anyway. So I won't bother. You know what? Hmm. So I feel like we are close to the perspective of that one reel. I was trying to climb up this cliff, but is there something just down here? Oh. So, well, let's get over here and try not to die while we're at it. Oh yeah, we need to... Yeah, we need to go in that painting. We need to do the Mario 64 thing. It's kind of funny, because going through paintings is such a trope in, like, fantasy magic type settings. But I'm always going to associate it with Super Mario. Mario 64. Okay. Already holding part of that. We'll drop that. Da 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 not to go. Now, I'm probably wrong about this, but I feel like... Yeah, it looks like that's not the case. Why is that noise? Okay, that's the same noise I heard before. So something is making a loud whirring noise at a certain point shortly but after the beginning. Maybe not that shortly after the beginning, but like five minutes in. Five minutes into the loop. Unfortunately, my theory that you could kill yourself here is not accurate. I was kind of hoping you could, though, because then it would probably give you an idea of what ex actually happened with these dudes. But you can't, like, suck up the fire with this. So maybe these artifacts are only for sucking up the fire at those torches. to not try to jump onto those roofs. They just seem like they're too steep. You can't actually stand on them. Aha, uh -huh, so that is another path. That's the other path I should have been taking. Okay. 
It's not really a waste, if I know I'm gonna get more fuel in a moment. Oh, I know what's bad for the planet. It doesn't really matter if it's about to get destroyed in 22 minutes. That joke was funnier in my head. So what's the deal here? Yeah, and what is the deal with this guy having his face scratched out? Okay, yeah, so this is the area where you find out about the secret entrance to the top of the tower. Should we just try to go there anyway? I don't know if there's much of a purpose in it. We might as well try it again, though. Hurry up a little bit. It might be good to get to the top of the tower before the dam breaks. Oh, wait. Did I read that one already? I feel like I must have. Okay. I don't know what these artifacts actually do. I know that they hold on to them when they die. That's about it. Okay, so all of these are charged. So I noticed when the tower fell down, not all of these were showing a charge. Not all of them had, like, lights traveling along them, which indicates to me that something goes wrong with them when the tower breaks, which makes sense, to be honest. Ah, uh, the sun's starting to turn kind of red. Shows, but we will take it any way. Just get some fuel first. I don't know. Oh, well, no, no, I want to go the other way. We want to go, yeah, like here. Now, assuming this won't kill us, maybe we'll learn something cool. Is that the dam breaking? It is too. Shoot. Well, that killed us. Rocks were too close to the surface. solve the riddle of what the green fire is supposed to do.
I mean, I'm probably very far from solving the riddle of what the green fire is supposed to do, but all the same, I was hoping I could do something with it, at least. destination. Oh wow, I'm almost getting up, up to five hours. And I don't feel like quitting quite yet. It's what? It is 10 to 11, and I do have to wake up at some point, but I don't... I, I'm able to sleep in tomorrow if I want. I just realized I have to do something and now I have an hour to do it so I'm gonna go do that and we're gonna take a maybe a one hour break from the stream and then I'll be back at it at well it's 10 to 11 for me right now so Eastern Standard Time midnight in just over an hour I will be back I kind of feel like a jackass now, now that I've realized, oh yeah, there's something important I need to do. Um, and I have until midnight to do it, so I'm going to do that. And I will be back in an hour, one way or the other. So, hope you, if, you, if I don't happen to see you then, I hope you enjoyed the stream so far. And I hope you want to check it out again. I'm not doing this for money or anything, I'm just doing this for fun. Um, and I'm doing it because I love Outer Wilds. Like, this is an awesome game. Like, and I feel like it's like that with a lot of people. It's either you love it or you don't care about it. But I definitely love it. So I'm going to stop for now, get my stuff done, and then I'll be back in an hour. So hope to see you then. Take care. <laughs>